Welcome back to part 8 of Mega Man 7. Um, we're going to be paying a visit to Otto in his uh, shop. Um, first, we're going to be sucked up into the body cavity of whatever this thing is. Um, hey, I'm Violent J. So, you give the Hyperbolt to Otto, and I believe it lowers the cost of everything. I thought maybe it gave you like a big boost to your, your bolt total, but no, it just it lowers the cost of everything. So be sure you get the hyper bolt before you buy a bunch of stuff from Auto Shop. For anyone out there who is uh, about to play Mega Man 7 for the Super NES from 1996. I mean, who knows? Hey, when Nintendo comes out with the Super NES Classic this Christmas, hey, it's coming. Mark my words, it'll be here this Christmas. Um... Mega Man 7 might be on there, and people might be clamoring to YouTube to look for Mega Man 7 videos. And this one, this one right here, will be the only Mega Man 7 video to be found. And all of a sudden, boom. Boom. Supply and demand. S simple economics. So either way, all of his items are half price now. The Hyper Rocket Buster is quite tempting at 800 chips, but that's the thing I already have. At least I'm fairly certain that's the thing I already have because all these other items over here are things I already have. Um, things that you can find in the stages. So yeah, since I grabbed all those things in the stages, I don't have to buy them here. Boom, done. Beats Whistle saves you from a pit one time. I'm just gonna try not to fall in any pits. We want one, uh, let's see, how do you do it? Okay, one S tank, because you can only carry one. Definitely want that. It's effectively a fifth, <laughs> don't be greedy. Okay, sure. Alright, okay, okay. I, I know, I know. So it's, it's effectively a fifth energy tank, which is good. Um, we're going to need to fill up on E-tanks, standard E-tanks. Uh, so I guess three of those. And whatever uh, chips I have left, I'll probably just buy one-ups. Just buying one-ups from here, because um, if I don't have to use an E-Tank, I won't. In, in the Wily Castle of this particular game, you know, if, if I'm low on health and the boss, you know, if I haven't done a, a appreciable amount of damage to the boss yet, I'm just going to go ahead and lose a life instead. Um, this game has one of the tougher Wily Castles, and so I, I'm going to go in there fully prepared. All right, we are ready to roll. Let's do this. And here it is, Wily Castle. It's looking spiffier than ever, and it's on top of a mountain. You know, it's funny. I created a castle in uh, fourth or fifth grade just like this, just of my own accord. Um, my class was designing castles like out of uh, paper and styrofoam and whatnot. And my castle was on top of a cliff, just like Wily's castle here. It was just a sheer cliff with the castle right on top of it. And my teachers were like, no, you can't do that because there's, there's no way that anyone will be able to get to it. <laughs> and they, so they actually, they didn't let me do my idea. It was just a silly idea, but they, they wouldn't let me do it because, oh, there's no way to get to it. So thanks for that, guys. Um, maybe you guys can go and talk to the creators of this game and tell them how dumb their castle is. Okay, so I'm going to keep the super adapter equipped because this section is highly irritating. The lights go on and off. As a matter of fact, they're only on when you jump. So at least you can control them, but having a double jump will make things a little bit easier. Proto Shield. Oh, missed. Oh well. I hate these little things. Please jump in the pit. Thank you. Ah, oh, they take so many hits, and they're so small, and I just, I just hate them. I just hate their guts. Okay, this is another tricky section. These platforms you may remember from uh, Mega Man 1 on the NES. Yes, these, oh, that was close. These very platforms from Mega Man 1. And it just occurred to me that I, I should have gotten a few uh, beats 
like, uh, you know, the, the beats power up that protects you from a fall. I could have gotten a few of those. I had the chips for it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait, did I? Did I get a few beats? Stage, he gives you four charges of it. This is literally the first time I've, I've discovered this. I did not know that. Maybe because I haven't fallen into any pits yet. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. So I couldn't have bought them anyway, so I can feel better about that. Okay, easy. No! Ugh. Why is this so hard? I mean, it's not, but for some reason I'm just really having a, a, a dickens of a time here. A real, a real dickens of a time. Okay, that was close. That was super close. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was, that was a sick jump just now. Absolutely sick jump. Okay, here we go. Whoop! Whoop! Whew! Well, I'm glad that's over. Um, do we need to use an energy tank? Nope, we do not. Okay, the next section is base. You are far too weak, Mega Man. Wily may fear you, but I do not. That was my, my impression of bad Mega Man 8 voice acting, since the uh, voice acting didn't make it into this game. Now, you see, if, if Nintendo hadn't screwed over Sony, and themselves, indirectly, by letting Sony go off and create the PlayStation on their own, uh, we might have gotten a PlayStation version of Mega Man 7 around this time, instead of a Super NES version, because, you know, the Nintendo PlayStation might have been the order of the day at that point. And if we had gotten a Nintendo PlayStation version of Mega Man 7, well, then it would most certainly have voice acting. Yes, it would. Are we serious right now? This is, this is really happening? Wow, this is really happening. Oh my god. <clears throat> How about my timing just now, though? I was, like, slowly inching forward. It better not ma It's gonna make me fight base again? You are far too weak, Mega Man. Wily may fear you, but I do not. I cannot believe this fucking game. It's gonna make me actually fight this dude. It's gonna make me fight a boss that I've already beaten. Luckily, he's a very easy boss. All right, let's see if I can take this thing out before it gets to me. Boom! Bitch! Boom! Bitch! Boom! How about that? No roaches for you. Jeez, can't believe you made me fight base twice. That is lame. Good thing is, I have eight lives. Eight lives. All right, I might have to just drop a life to this guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop a life to this jacky ass guts man. You got no guts, guts man. That's the kind of thing Mega Man would say. He'd be like, "You overgrown ape! You've got no guts, guts man." Of course, he'd be an overgrown something, right? Because back then in anything like cartoony, like the Mega Man cartoon or the Dragon Ball Z uh, dub of the time, anything cartoony in the United States, everything would be referred to as overgrown. That was like the go-to insult. You're like, you overgrown ape! I mean, in Dragon Ball Z it was appropriate though because Vegeta was quite literally an overgrown ape. Like, he turned into an ape that was overgrown. It was very, uh, very scary dude. And then it never happened again because they cut off his tail. And then he couldn't turn to an ape anymore. What a weird show. I mean, when you think about it. Oh shit. Am I seriously going to have to use an energy tank on this buffoon? I shouldn't have to. Oh. 
Ah, oh, so close. I was not using an energy tank. I'm sorry. I think I've got his number now, though. I think I've got his number. I think we have time for another stage after this. I was just going to do one Wily stage with this episode. But I think we'll go ahead and do two. I think if you hit him in the head while he's charging, it negates the charge. Yes! No, it didn't negate the charge. Fuck that! That is, that is lame. That is, that is some lame shite right there. Oh, oh, come on! Come on! Can't believe this shit. Alright, fuck it. Don't want to use an energy tank. I shouldn't have to use an energy tank. This guy is a is a loser. He's a buffoon. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. That was kind of a Hail Mary. I thought about just trying to jump on top of the block, but then I was like, what if I miss and get hit by the block? So instead I tried to just shoot over the block as I was jumping, and it worked. Surprisingly, but it, it worked. I think you can go to the auto shop between stages, so I might do that after the next stage. I don't really have to right now. Um, it eats up quite a bit of time to be going to that shop all the time. Jesus. The stage just started and I've already taken a ton of damage. This stage, for some reason, is very turtle themed. I wonder if I can grab items with the, with the fist. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh well. That would probably make it too good though. Oh wait, ha! I didn't even have to grab the item with the fist. The item's right here. And more more lives are certainly a good thing right now. After that battle with Guts Man. Okay, so we've got some conveyor belts. Not a big deal. All right, here we go. This is the real fight with base. Ah, oh, my wait is over. This time, the Mega Mega Man's fall. Treble, attack! Did you like my bad voice acting? And then Treble shows up. Woo, 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 woo. There we go. That's the Treble voice acting. Okay. This fight's cool because you can fly around and do DBZ stuff. It's, it's basically a DBZ fight. Bad news for him, shit, is that I have the powered up fist. Bad news for me is that he has it too. In retrospect, I would have just used an E-Tank on that one. You know, why the hell not? I'm going to get them back anyway. Ah, my weight is over. This time, the Mighty Mega Man should fall. Treble, attack! Boom, 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 boom. 
No, base, we don't have to fight like this. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Oh, you, you bastard. Just got a cheap shot in there, didn't you? Wow, look at this. I, he's just freaking rolling over me this time. Oh, that was like a point blank, like slug to the face right there. Okay, this time, this time I'm gonna load this up before I go into the room. Can I skip the, can I skip the voice acting this time? Can I, just, can I skip the, ah, oh, my weight is over. This time the Mighty Mega Man shall fall. Trouble, attack. Woo, 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 woo. No, that, that wasn't bad enough for Mega Man 8 voice acting. It would be more like, boom, 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 boom. Okay, here we go. If I can stay higher up than him, I might have a better outcome here. Whoa, that fist has a long range. Yes. Okay, one more good hit, one more good hit. Boom! All right. Why? Why can't I destroy him? Mega Man 8 voice acting always cuts off. Like they'll say something and then like normal speed and then they'll say something really fast at the end. And it's like they have, <laughs> it's like they have like a recording window where it's like you have three seconds to record your lines and then they'll start to record the line and then they'll be like, oh no, I'm running out of time. And they'll just like quickly try to shoo in the last few words, you know? Oh shit. What is this nonsense? Seriously, what, what is this? What is this? All right, I got him. <laughs> I'm just looking at these frogs kind of jumping around there and I'm like, how am I supposed to deal with this? Ugh. I'm not even dealing with that guy. Not even, not even doing it. key here is that if you stand on the edge of these platforms, the fire can't hit you. See? So that's what you gotta do. This part is still very irritating now. Oh, for fuck's sake. I better watch out. It might make me fight base again. Whoa! Whoa! Gee whiz, Mega Man. to end a level like in the middle of a stage but um i honestly needed like a few minutes break here this is just this is very overwhelming um so join me for part nine of Mega Man 7 where i play the rest of the wily castle probably we might need a part 10 it's a tough castle <laughs>